We're at the junction now, right takes you to Leek and the left here through the locks takes us to Frog Hall. And the canal on the right, the Leek branch, goes over the top of this canal in a few hundred yards. <laughs> so this is where the leak branch crosses over this Fruggle line. I love that name, Froggle. 1841, Hazelhurst Aqueduct. going far just a, a mile or two there might be a couple of locks involved not sure uh, depending on where we moor but uh, we're gonna meet up with another youtuber a solo narrowboater and uh, actually he's my favorite youtuber I've been watching him for a couple of years now so uh, all will be revealed later Exciting.
Here's the boat itself. Many of you will recognise, I'm sure. I wonder if he's home. We have run out of wood, yeah. Don't tell him. Oh yeah, there's a pinch of rob, bit of Robbie's wood. <laughs> so you're going in then? Yeah. Be careful, it's a bachelor pad. Oh, that's all right. Oh, it's lovely. Lovely. Wow. It's a funky vibe in here, isn't it? Yeah, so obviously, for people who don't know who I am, my name is Robbie. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and this is, but I do exactly what these guys do, don't I? Just sort of YouTubing and all that sort of Only thing. better. He does it a bit better <laughs> than us, actually. But, uh, but that's how we sort of met, isn't it? Robbie's one of the people that got us on this journey in the first place. We Indeed, were watching him yeah. well over a year ago. Two years Some of ago. us were watching him morning till night. <laughs> <laughs> Get those views up, Rich. <laughs> Thank you. And so look what it. happened to us. Like yeah, sorry about that. Partridge, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> right, so what do you think? So this, in this lounge really? bit here, I've got Crazy. a new sofa. Yeah. It's a new sofa. What do you reckon? So that have a, have a seat. Does it make up into a bed? Yeah. Oh, so God, it's a that's flip so stack. Your head is got. Not while you're on it, but. Um, <laughs> no, I'll tell you, this is. So much more comfortable than ours, Isn't it? and your head, you've got somewhere for your head to rest yeah. on as well. Oh, this is lovely. And then, got the storage under here, I don't know if I should put this, pull this out so you can see my pants and everything, but well, yeah, so look at yeah. that's all your sort of storage area, yeah. which a lot of sofas don't have, so that's no. quite rare. Anyway, enough of a sofa advert. Stove. Yeah, so this is lovely, isn't it? Yeah, stove's yeah. there. So we've got still hot coal burning, even though it's should be warm enough by now, but we're still sort of having to put the heat on. But yeah, here's the uh, table. Just did you put up. this on? Was this here? Or yeah, this, was, this came with the boat, really, and so did yeah. that. You know, and quite good job too, because I'm rubbish at carpentry, oh, so I'd never be able to do that. Me too. <laughs> well, that's right. you, you have chevy sheets there, then? That was already well, done I like have, that. yeah, because it was brilliant. like dark wood, and yeah. I sort of stressed it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, see, I'm getting ideas again. I want yeah, to chill out. <laughs> I love sleeping on other people's boats, so, you know. Yeah. Um, oh, I love the was yeah. this. Was this was here as well? Or? Yeah, but I'd sort of got a couple of coats of chalk paint. Yeah. One was bright green and one was turquoise. Well, I don't know what colour that was, but it came out quite nice and get some wax on it. Absolutely and love it. And that hides the boiler behind it. It's a combi boiler in there. Combi boiler, oh, that's yeah. posh, isn't it? Yeah. On yeah. it. <laughs> but Very like posh. you, I still haven't got a fridge, so it's no. it's only so, so much. Yeah. You know. There's the famous... Clothes dry after all these <laughs> so tables. Yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to be for your socks and all that, but <laughs> I just thought, well, I've got so many wires. We need one of those in the engine room. Yeah, so this is a galley. Yeah. It's quite a fairly small one. Nice and compact, it's it yeah. 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 And that's on one side, the other side is the, the toilet and the Shower. bathroom, you know. <laughs> do you, just, just by the way, do you have any, uh, any ladies, young ladies watching? Because, you know, this. Could be where, <laughs> this is where the magic happens. The double bed. <laughs> like MTV crib, isn't it? Um, but yeah, this is a double bed in here. That's and cozy, isn't it? Full size. Yeah, bed, I quickly it? made it up. But I knew you were coming around. I was quick. Uh, I've got some st some storage under the bed, uh, and girls don't want to hear this, but there is uh, the holding tank for the toilet yeah, that fits under yeah. there. It's just it's just there. But there's this um, to your right there. There's a um, sort of closet wardrobe. Yeah. Not much, not too much space. But, um, You've got more space than we've got, I think. Storage oh, right. space more in the storage bedroom. Space oh, good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, so, obviously, yeah. right at the end of the boat is the, the engine room. But like most of us, we sort of use it as a storage room, yeah. I think, don't we? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I can stick that in if you like. <laughs> yeah. Hey, have a look at this. So uh, yeah, it's just uh, as you'd expect, really. <laughs> what do you reckon, Rich? I love it. I think it's great, mate. Cool. Yeah. I think you're going to be hard pushed to get Fran out of here. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've, we've got a date with the pub, haven't we? Yeah, we so have got a date with the pub. It's quite strange, isn't it, really, to see the, the 
real Robbie here it and uh, be aboard his boat after all these episodes we've watched together. Yes. Great. Yeah. yeah. Top men. Well, I think what the strangest thing is that like, we just met each other straight away, but it feels like we've known each other for ages because yeah. of YouTube, I think. Isn't I it? think it is. You yeah. see, you see yeah. a bit behind, but it, it genuinely is just as he comes across on YouTube. Crazy cat. That is a good thing, by the way. That is a good thing. Crank it. <laughs> <laughs> Behind us is Cheddleton Flint Mill. They used to grind flint here for the uh, pottery industry, and uh, there was a a mill record water mill recorded here as early as the 13th century. That's amazing, isn't it? And you're not reading that from a book. And I'm not either. reading that from a book, no, <laughs> because I can't remember what exact date it was in 12 something or other. But it's a beautiful old historical industrial site, and uh, we're going to go and have a look around. We're being tourists for the day. It's, I don't know, it's open every weekend, but this is bank holiday weekend, and live, um, the mill wheels only work when there are people on site um, managing it and looking after it. So. Maybe we're lucky, I don't know, but yeah. we'll go and have a look around. We'll do that. Right, we've got a bit of a day of it today. Yep. We've got five miles to do, just to the end of this Colden Canal. But we've got two possible obstacles stopping us getting down the end. The first one is oh, yeah. the canal turns into the River Churnit, River Churnit, about two miles down. And uh, we've had a fair bit of rain, haven't we, this last couple of yeah, days? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're a bit worried that the levels might not allow us to cruise down on the river. So that's the first obstacle. Obstacle. Uh, but the biggest one, uh, which I think, mm, I, don't, I don't know. I think it might, <laughs> it might stop us getting to the very end. Is the Frog Hall Tunnel. We really, really want to get through the tunnel. It's supposed to be beautiful the other end and not many boats can get through. Um, and the limits are that it has to be five, well, the official limits are five feet high and five feet across the top of your boat. We've watched videos, we've read blogs, we've read books and stories. And a lot of people are saying, even if you can get through the guideline, which is at the end of the past, at the last lock, there's um, some tape coming down, which can tell you if you can get through or not. Even if you can't get through that, you can often get through the tunnel. <laughs> what you got in your pocket? Oh, we've got tape measure so that we can actually measure down from the water to the top and across. And when we go through the guidelines, we have to measure just how short or how tall we are and then that will be decision time so let's do it so we are friends measuring from the water to the top of the boat that's just on the water there that five see look that's taller that's to there where's five foot Five feet is, we're not going to do that. Five feet is there. 
Oh really? We're not going to do it. No, that's really no, no, isn't it? Do what it. is it across the top? Five foot is to there. Oh, so that would be okay. That's about that five way. foot one across. So we'll have to take the cratch cover off as well. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we're going to do it. I don't think we're going to do it. So that's the river Churnit that uh, we have to cruise along. The canal joins it here. So I've got my windlass with me because I'm pretty sure it's going to be okay. So let's just go to the end of the lock and uh, see what the gauge says. Lovely setting beautiful blossom tree behind the bridge there wonderful so what does it say where's the gauge can't see babe well I don't know ah oh, there we are it's green Good to go. Well, you can tell we're river cruising. We're skipping along at a fair rate at the normal revs that we do. Captain Fran. It's beautiful here, isn't it? It's just stunning. Absolutely stunning. It's that memories of the Kennet and Avon instantly being on river. It's yeah. different, isn't it? It just feels different when you're a river rather than canal. Well, this is interesting. This is called the Narrows section of the river, uh, going past Consul Forge Station. And, uh, excuse me, <laughs> <laughs> only uh, one boat can get through in places, so it's uh, hopefully nobody comes the other way. And this is the station at the end of the line for the steam train, so they're not running today. It's a bit of a shame that we can't get a steam train coming in as we go through. Maybe on our way back. Here we are at the lock, and if the boat clears that gauge, then we're all good to go through the tunnel. I am very skeptical, it has to be said. But anyway, what an absolute gorgeous setting. It's a beautiful part of the world. Really enjoying our cruise here. Well, here we go, the moment of truth. Quite a deep lock this one. Let's see if we're gonna get through. If we can get through this, we can get through the tunnel. And it's not looking good. Not looking good, Fran. People have said that this gauge is a lot on the pessimistic side by a few inches. So I don't know. Right. What you say? I think we'll be alright. I, right. I 
think we'll give it a go actually. Yeah, those solar brackets are going to come off. My head might go, Francis. <laughs> What do you think, Fran? I don't know. I think we're right. I think it's your head that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, you've obviously got to be dead central going through the tunnel. Um, it was only I think it was only catching by about an inch. Yeah. And people have said that that barrier is very pessimistic. Yeah, you said, I said very that pessimistic. in there. Very. Yeah. I think, and also people have said that they turn their engine off to go through. So sorry. Careful. I think, uh, you know, maybe we get to the mouth of the tunnel and just turn the engine off and just drift towards it and see what happens. Yeah, good idea. But uh, let's ponder on it over a bit of lunch first, shall we? <laughs> Which is the lowest end of the tunnel, this end or the other end? I don't know, I can't remember. One end, it says One it gets lower. One lower than the other, yeah. I think, oh, I don't know. I think we'll just go for it and see how we get on. Yeah. I hope we don't get <laughs> stuck in the middle. <laughs> yes. It may only be a short canal of some 15 miles, but probably, I think, it's the most beautiful canal we've ever been on, don't uh, you? We keep saying that, but... It just it gets just... better. It just... There's, there's, look at all that wild garlic. Look at that. How beautiful is that? It is so lovely. And I think what's made it even more lovely and and I don't know, interesting, is this grey weather. I know. It's I'm brought just all say the that, colours yeah. out, hasn't it? All the greens are yeah. vivid. Yeah, we've so enjoyed this, it's fabulous. It'd be nice when we're coming back if we get some sunny weather as well from you know well, different it will bits be, yeah. of it. It's bad enough so. for this rain to be honest. Well, here we go. We're gonna give it a go. And I think this is the craziest thing we've ever done on this boat so wish us luck there's Fran at the front keeping an eye open <laughs> and it's a right kink of a turn to get in the tunnel so I'm gonna stop filming now because I need to concentrate 